long time no chat. Um, <clears throat> I am here for my, I don't even know what the last video I posted was. I want to say this is my 33, 34, and 35 week update. Um, I am 35 weeks pregnant today. Um, I have last update on actually. Um, yesterday I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment, but I ended up going in Monday unexpectedly because I was having Braxton Hicks contractions um, every five to ten minutes for probably two or three hours. So I was kind of worried about that, which um, so. You know, we packed everything up just in case. We weren't sure what was going on. So we packed everything up and whatnot. And um, come to find out, everything was fine. I got checked. My cervix is still closed, which is good. Um, so that's all done. Um, we went to the Trooper Barracks last, let's see, it was Sunday, I guess it was, to get our car seat hooked up. <clears throat> and uh, come to find out, the car seat that we had doesn't fit correctly and doesn't latch correctly in my car. So, the troopers actually gave us a brand new one because, you know, they have them there for that purpose. You know, if your car seat doesn't work, then they will give you a new one. So we got a brand new car seat. It, this one is an even flow. The other one I had was a safety first, um, rear facing, all that stuff. And this one fits much better in my car and it's a lot easier to get in and out. It has, um, an adjustable base on it because the way because I drive a 2002 Impala and it has leather seats and the seats kind of angle downwards so it was angling the whole car seat down which with a newborn that's the last thing you want because they can't control their head so anyways that is the big news um, I have gained a total of 35 pounds in this pregnancy so far I'm up to 196 pounds no, I'm not one of those women who's afraid to tell you how much I weigh. Um, and I'm measuring dead on. On Tuesday, I was, or on Monday, I was measuring 34 centimeters um, for a fundal height, which is perfect. Um, because the centimeters that you measure from the top of your uterus to your pubic bone um, is supposed to represent how many weeks you are. So, um, Christmas is coming. We're very excited. Um... And the great thing is, is that three days after Christmas, we have our ultrasound. So we're really excited about that. Um, I can't wait. Um, at that point, we'll be able to figure out approximately how big he is. And uh, we should be able to see his face and stuff because the ultrasound that I, the ultrasound people that I go to in the hospital that I'm in, it's actually right across the hall from my OB's office, which is great. They do 2D and the 4D ultrasound. So hopefully we'll be able to see his face. So we'll be able to see what he looks like. Um, I'm sorry I look like garbage today. Like I feel like I always look like garbage. <laughs> I just threw my hair back this morning. My mom has my... Because I had to meet my mom at my grandpa's house. Because she has my car. Because hers is getting work done. Because she waits until the last minute to get her vehicle fixed. <laughs> so... um. As far as symptoms this week, I have a lot of them. Um, my hips are bothering me, sleeping. I think I mentioned that in my last video. Um, I'll be sleeping on one side, and then my hips will start to bother me. On that side, it'll wake me up, and I'll have to roll over and try to get comfortable again. The baby has dropped. Uh, you'll be able to see that when I show you my belly. He is sitting on my cervix, and it's not fun. And it's very painful, and I'm peeing, like, every every single time I get up to do something, I have to go pee. So, um, let's see, what else? Uh, I've been having a lot of back pain, a lot of shoulder pain, um, stuff like that. I have, uh, I'll go through, he'll, he'll stretch in there, kind of like he's doing right now. He'll stretch, and it'll feel like my belly is going to, like, rip apart in the middle. <laughs> um, my belly button still hasn't popped, which I've heard is actually pretty rare that your belly button doesn't pop. But my belly button hasn't popped yet. My mom said that hers never popped. Hers just got smaller and smaller, which is what mine is doing. Uh, oh, and before I forget, at my doctor's appointment, 
I did learn that the hospital that I am going to, they do not deliver babies before 36 weeks. So, a week from today, the day after Christmas, I'll be 36 weeks. So, as long as he stays in there until 36 weeks, I'll be happy. Um, I would like him to stay in there until at least 39 weeks. But if he doesn't, as long as he stays in there for another week, I'm happy. Because I really don't want to go to a different hospital. Um, they would send me to the hospital in Syracuse. Syracuse, New York, which is about two hours away from here. So, that would suck. But everything else um, is good as far as the hospital and stuff goes. Um, I've found myself being much more tired. I've been very tired, and I'm sure that part of that is because I can't sleep at night. I'm very uncomfortable. I can't get comfortable at all at night anymore. So it's not even, it's not fun at all. <clears throat> I'm exhausted all the time, which makes me miserable, which makes me emotional, and I can't, like right now I'm really uncomfortable. I can't sit, I can't stand, I can't lay down, I can't do anything and be comfortable. Um, if I find a comfortable position, I stay there for as long as I possibly can. So, um, let's see what else. Um, I think that's about it as far as symptoms and everything like that goes. Um, just, my back has been killing me, my back is so sore, and, like, sitting in this computer chair here, I'll show you guys, this is my, my work chair that I have, I've got my coat in it right now, but, that's the chair I sit in all day at work, so, it's mad uncomfortable, it's not even close to being something that's comfortable, so I'll take, I'll take this blanket right here, and I'll bunch it up, behind my back like in my lumbar area so that way I can actually somewhat be comfortable and so it'll support my back because it doesn't have lumbar support uh, let's see all of my shirts are too short all of them show my belly oh it's snowing outside sorry ADD <laughs> uh, we've been hoping to get snow because we haven't gotten any snow. I live in northern New York and we don't have any snow. So we're hoping for a white Christmas. Um, but uh, as of, let's see, I have another, I have my ultrasound on the 28th and then I have my doctor's appointment on the 31st and then after that I'll be seeing the doctor every week. So that should be fun. Um, I'm going back to five day weeks because um, Alex's unemployment is still messed up. He's been searching every day for a job, and it's not that easy, especially up here because we have winter and people lay off in the winter. So, um, but we have got a couple of leads on a few jobs that we'll be hiring in a month or so. So that'll be good. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet thing with him not working. Um, it sucks that he's not bringing unemployment, um, but hopefully we'll be able to figure that out soon. Uh... Or get it straightened out anyways. We think we know what's wrong, but we have to wait for paperwork and stuff like that. So, Anyways, it's kind of bittersweet though because he helps me a lot with the housework. And it's nice that I only work a quarter mile away from home. So if my water breaks or if something happens, he's right there. He's not far away at all. I don't have to wait for him to drive a half an hour or however long from work. So that's good. So... Anyways, um, I'll show you guys my belly. It's a really short video today. My back is killing me, so I'm going to try and get up and walk around a little bit. So, But let me see if I can get this down here. Sorry, I dropped you guys. But but everybody says that I look like I've dropped, and I feel like I've dropped. My back and my cervix are both killing me. Um, there's the stretch marks. A much better look at them. And my belly button that hasn't popped yet. <laughs> but there's my my 35 week belly now. Ugh. But anyways, um, I will try to update more. Um, I did post a video 
of him having the hiccups. Oh yeah, and he has the hiccups constantly. He has them all the time. Um, he actually hasn't had them at all today, which is really rare. But he had them probably five or six times within like two hours last night. So, anyways, that is my 33, 34, and 35 week update. Um, I am so sorry that I haven't been able to update. I've just been tired and I've been very, very busy. So, um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll keep you all posted on what's going on with me and Alex and Brantley. See you later.